As parents, we have a lot of power. We have the power to see our children's dreams come true, but we also have the power to take hope from them. Father of three, Shane Heal, and coach of the Sydney Kings, speaks with us about how adult influence can shape a life. We're here with Shane Heal, the coach of the Sydney Kings this morning to chat about all things short and tall. Shane, thanks for coming on. Yeah, my pleasure. I'm the short one. <laughs> Very good, <laughs> although I probably beat you by a good foot. Um, tell me, do you play basketball? I play socially now. I played professionally for 20 years, but um, the body's not as good as what it used to be. So uh, <laughs> now coaching is the thing that um, takes my interest. What age did you start? I started playing when I was five. And yeah, I was lucky to have parents that really influenced me in playing sport and played football and basketball. But mm -hmm. my passion was for basketball. and. You know, I had a dream when I was, I was younger to play for Australia and yep. that's where my goals lay. So do you remember a point in time when you just went, yep, that's what I want? Yeah, I think all the way through the juniors, but I remember telling my dad when I was 12 that mm -hmm. I wanted to play for Australia and that was a really defining moment for me and really set those goals. And you know, My dad believed in it. He, um, he thought I would. He encouraged me and supported me with it and yep. we helped set goals and, and really went after trying to make that happen. So at 12, what kind of goals do you set? Well, I think it's, it's more a dream of playing for Australia and going to the Olympics at that stage. Yep. But it was a goal for me. Um, but then you start setting smaller goals of, of practicing and becoming a better shooter and a better passer and then yep. goals to make rep teams and then state teams and it goes on from there. And, but certainly having a pos positive influence is a really big thing to be able to support those goals because along the way I had a lot of people tell me that there was no way I could make it and yep. that I was too short to be able to achieve <laughs> being a professional basketballer. So how tall are you, begs the question. I'm 6'1", and that was always the, you know, one of the shortest. Okay, yeah. so what position did you play? I was a point guard. I didn't have too many choices of what position I could play. <laughs> I was like the, the on-court coach, and uh, you know, I tell the bigger guys that you, know, you have to have some guys with brains on the court, so <laughs> they're the smaller, smaller guys. <laughs> yeah, not so far to think from your head to your feet. Yeah, the air's a bit different up there. <laughs> yeah. you know. Absolutely. So do you have kids of your own? I've got three daughters, uh, 18, 17 and, and 12, and uh, you know, they're basketballers and yeah. Uh, yeah, they're great kids. Have you tried to apply some of what your dad gave you with your own children? Yeah, definitely. Oh, and all of the things I learned in a 20 year career Absolutely. Um, yeah. that you learn along the way and you know, some of the failures that you go through as a, you know, on and off the court and, and try and use those as an education for your kids, but more than anything, just giving them the support and doing whatever they're really passionate about. And I guess for people who don't play professionally, there are those seasons of not achieving those goals. How do you overcome that? Yeah, and that's a big one. And I find a lot of parents really trying to live their life through their kids. Yes. And, you know, you go over that line of being supportive parents to really pushy parents. Mm. Um, you know, and what some of the parents are saying to their kids when they get in the car after a basketball game or a soccer game or whatever mm. can be really, really negative mm. um, if things aren't going the right way. And, you know, my biggest advice is they just need to really support the kids and put them in the right context and, and the right mindset to be able to achieve. Mm. And to cope with when you don't play a good game, don't go off and have a whammy and then give it in. You know, build up some resilience. And, and you see that all the time that, you know, whether kids have injuries or don't play well or don't like a particular coach, mm. then the negatives come in and they're more likely to give up and, mm. and, and quit on those sort of things. But I think sport's a real reflection of society and what you go through in your life. It's no different than in yep. your job. You have a boss that you don't like or some down times and you just yep. have to find ways to be able to overcome that, uh, stay positive mm. and to be able mm. to succeed. And so I guess your parents aren't the only people who support you um, in your endeavours. How did you find coaching and those kind of things? What did they do to support you? Oh, you're always looking for mentors along the way, mm. people to learn from and, and seek advice from and, and choosing those right mentors is, is a key as well because mm. if you're listening to the wrong people that haven't succeeded or don't have the right you know, mindset, it can really hurt you as much as you mm. know, the positives that come out of it. So, but surrounding yourself with people like that is, I think is one of the keys. And I guess your mum and dad would have said, you know, these are people that are okay to be in your life and when it wasn't, to redirect you so that the mentor fit. And you know, I was very lucky to have some really positive coaches and great coaches that, you know, that help you believe in yourself. Um, and a lot of the times you've got to do the work though. Sometimes oh, people will think, oh yeah, you've got to believe in yourself and it's just going to happen. No. But it's when you've done the work that gives you the belief to then go and perform. Yep. And I think that's the process that's the most important thing. Yeah. 
I hope as you listen to Shane that you felt humbled by your role as parent and that you take the time to find out what your children's dreams are and endeavour to make them a reality.